So I was thinking about this video because the student requested that I make a video showing how to create a cellular hexagonal lattice structure. And so what I'm going to do with this video is to show you how to start with a little sketch of the model to then a little representation of it and then to this, to this and finally the big representation of the model. If you're interested in this, then sit back and relax as we get started with this video. So welcome to this channel, CM Videos. It's a YouTube channel where we try to help you create effective computational modeling solutions, whatever computational challenge you're dealing with. My name is Dr. Michael Okereke. I'm an associate professor within a UK university and I host this channel and I'm making a lot of these videos to support students. So let's go into the subject of this video, which is a cellular hexagonal lattice structure. So, and I'm just going to go ahead into Abacus and begin to show you how to do this modeling. So once we get into Abacus like this, the first thing we want to do is basically to create a part and I'm going to call it my cellular hexagonal lattice structure. So I'm going to use the extrusion model because extrusion option, so it's 3D deformable and let's probably make this thing maybe like 500 and then we continue. So then I, I would want to start first by According to the sketch that I've shown you, you first have to draw a circle and then you try and partition it into a regular hexagon. So we start with a circle here. So I'm going to make this circle to have probably a diameter, let's say of maybe 10. So what I'm going to do here is to reduce the spacing in between to maybe five here. Okay, so let's start with a spacing of 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a vertical line here another construction line there another construction line here and then i'm going to make sure that the inside angle here would be 30 and then the other inside angle here will also be 30. so the idea is that because the inside angle in a, a hexagon will be um, 30. so we are going to then look at all the demarcation and create our hexagon so i'm going to start with here so we'll basically go all the way around and you can form a hexagon but we're going to probably just stop somewhere around here and then I'll cancel so I'm just only a segment of it because we need to get a framework of this first and foremost so I'm going to delete the circle because I use this simply as a guide so I'm going to probably use the trimming option so if you go to the trimming option and trim out this line and then finally I need to delete all the construction line so that's the first thing that we need to do. Now we've got a fragment, just a section of this hexagon. So I'm going to use it then to create a, the strut of this system. The strut is going to be one, uh, my one millimeter thick. So we're going to make that use the offset curve. So if I select that and then I'll select this. So I'm going to offset it by 0 0.5. So you can see, and this is okay. And then I'll do the same thing. Select the inside one again and then click done and then okay I want it 0 0.5 as well but it's not it's showing on top of that so I flip it around and then you get it right, right quite inside so this is fine so that means the center line is going to be my construction line so I'm going to probably use that so I'm going to say okay this and say select the entities to use a construction line so I press down shift and select those entities and that becomes my construction line so I've got a fragment of what we actually need then we need to also create a segment of this on this other end. So I'm just going to drop a line here and then probably two lines, which will be a fragment of that line. And then we need to partition, make sure that it's 0 0.5 meter thick on this end and on this other kind, 0 0.5 meters. So we've got the right dimensions of these things. So the other thing that we then need to do is we're going to use this option to so trim and extend. So we select this and extend it to that curve. We select this and extend it to that curve. So we've basically got a fragment, another fragment of this hexagon. So the last part of it is to make sure that it's as long as this line. So if I find this line, so it's 4.71, so I'm just going to copy that line. So we want that segment to be also as fine as this. So if I just dimension this and make it 4.71 this is fine and then i dimension that one and make it 4.71 as well so this is fine so and then i don't really like to keep the dimensioning so i can just remove the dimension to clean up my workspace so basically we've got a segment i don't really need what is inside here so i'm going to again trim it off so you press and hold select that so we trim off inside here so now we're getting a segment of that system the way it should be so the other thing we then want to do is okay let's introduce some line here okay so this is fine 
and then we introduce another line there so this is fine so in order for this system to rotate correctly so we are going to have to trim off this extra bit because when the rotation happens they are not going to be available for us to use so we'll just trim them off so we've got a nice segment of this system and then i'm going to then delete all that so very good representation of the problem so the next thing then is to now replicate it up and down so i need a vertical construction line so I'll introduce a vertical construction line so and then also i probably need a horizontal construction line here excellent so we then do a mirror image of this to then replicate the other part to it so if we select this it says select the uh, what do you want to do i want to create a copy and this is my mirror line and everything here becomes what i need so right away you can see i'm duplicating it up 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 replicating upwards in a nice way so again i could delete that and then put another construction line just where i want the replication to happen and then again press that i want to create a copy I want that to be my mirror line and then what entities the entities that i already have before again i'll create that so you can see it's doubling up and it's coming up as it's supposed to be so we again I'll remove that construction line put another one right at the top there so we have another one right there which is fine so again what we did before so we click there i want to create a copy that's my mirror line and i want everything here to be duplicated all right so now we have a lengthy side which is fine so we are happy with this representation so we now need to again duplicate it in the horizontal direction now we have how tall we want the system to be so again you can keep going depending on how tall you want the system to be so we need to replicate it on this other axis so what do we do so before we do that this is the last point where we want so we need to make sure that we close the top before before we move ahead so i'm going to probably use this option the option i said okay i want this line done how much offset i want it to be one okay so you can see it's right up there but then that's not enough so we just need to so i'm going to use the trim slash extend option so i'll select this and i'm trimming it to this and then i select that and i'm getting it to this so that's what's happened at the top which is perfect so we now go back to the other side and do the same kind of procedure so by making this so i'll select that and i want it to be one I just need to flip it so that it's on this other side and that is fine and then we'll trim and extend so i'll select this to extend it to this point and select that to extend it to this point so we have closed it up at the top and the bottom and then that looks perfect if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and share the video and leave me a comment of what you think about this or maybe more importantly if you have any video idea that you want me to make please do let me know in the comment section of this video so that i can actually consider them i do read all the comments actually this video was made because someone in the comments asked me about it so i do read the comments and i do try and support students in their computational modeling so the next thing is to now replicate on the horizontal direction so again i press this button i want to create a copy i want to select this and what am i replicating everything here becomes replicated so for the first time you have a shape of a hexagonal system the way it's supposed to look and it's coming back together effectively all right so i'll delete that line and then i'll put my new line to be around here again another construction line because this is what i'm using to create these mirror images it's okay now i press this option select i want to create a copy mirror line and then select everything on the window done so now we have two layers of this thing and it's coming together effectively as it's supposed to be again delete that line go back and select a new introduce a new construction line and then mirror again create a copy construction line selected everything here becomes mirrored okay so we have quite enough so we want one two three four so we could stop around this point or we could just again decide to mirror further so what i'm going to do is that i'm probably going to you know click okay the entities are selected so let's remove this and maybe we can add just one more replication here um, and that will be enough so we press here and select there and there so this is fine but instead of replicating everything i'm just going to select a section so i click here i want to create a copy this is my mirror line and then i just want to go from here everything 
so i just want only the leg so if you select here if you see what we've done so basically we are selecting this bit to be our replication again depends on how many often replications you want so and then we click ok so that's fine so it looks okay and we are happy with this so i can then click done so now when we bring everything together you can see okay we have a really lovely nice image of what our system could look like um, in terms of the hexagonal array and everything is perfectly designed with the center construction lines all in place and there is no duplication no replication everything is all perfect the way it will be so if we try to stop it here these lines are open and we was intended to be open these struts so we're going to close it up so i'm going to click on here and it's okay i'm just going to click to close it up i know that and then so we we'll basically just do it all the way to the end okay so but we want but we want these places to all be open so we're going to use them so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the trimming option again to trim off all those lines which are the spaces in between so if i zoom close so i'm trimming off the line leaving the ones in between there the way they're supposed to be so if we zoom close now you can see these are all closed up perfectly so we're going to do the same on the other side so we'll do the same here so i'm going to click on the basically keep going on to okay so that side is closed and then we just have to trim again those extra lines we added you know just because we wanted to have a continuity of what we're doing without having to break it up so we've trimmed up all that so again if i zoom close to one of those segments you can see they all look perfect as they're supposed to be and so we're happy with that so that's basically the sketch and we can go ahead and save it so i could call it my cellular hexagonal lattice structure sketch so basically in case we want to use it we use it later on so once we've done all that and then so we can click done so the extrusion process so you say by how much do you want it to extrude so we could do five and then in the end we have our cellular hexagonal structure perfectly in the way it's supposed to be obviously one thing that is also important once you've done this is to try and mesh the model so if we go to cellular hexagonal click on mesh so it's more so we could do 0 0.5 that's what's recommending maybe it's too much and then we can hexagonal dominated by sweeping algorithm is fine and then we click yes so just to make sure that we can mesh the domain because once you can mesh the domain so that's too much so we can use the one that they recommended for us initially and then we can mesh again so once you can mesh the domain then you you can then go ahead and run the model so if you look inside you can see the quality of the mesh is quite good and everything looks okay if you're interested in how this lattice structure will behave in tension or in compression then this is a video that i'd like you to see thank you for your interest in this channel and i'll see you in the next video